Hi, and welcome to Kotori Flow. My name is Dana, and I'm happy to bring you our fifth session today with music from Nico Schwind. We, too, we do the sessions here in Kotori Flow so we can connect with the community and the tribe, which is currently not so much possible on the outside. So we want to create a vibe and sensation of practicing together, being together, having an experience together, and creating this community online as we can do it online currently only. So let's begin in a seated position. Bring your hands comfortably to your lap and close your eyes. Every class, every session has an element to it, and today's element is ether or space. With your eyes closed, see if you can have, get a sensation of the space around you. Notice its quality. Space can feel cold or warm. It can feel as if there's a lot of space around you, or maybe it feels a little bit more small. And then bring your attention to the inner space, the space within you. Start deepening your breath. Inhale. And exhale, push the air out. So one technique that creates more space within us is called Kapalabhati breathing. It's a cleansing practice and we'll do it together. If you're pregnant, please skip this, just breathe naturally. But I will guide you through two rounds of it. So you inhale fully, you exhale all the air out, inhale about halfway, and then short, sharp exhalations through the nose. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out as much as you can. Out, 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 out. And then stay empty for a moment. Hold the breath. Lift the pelvic floor. Navel back, chin to chest. This is called bandhas. and release. Okay, that's one round. The second round is gonna be a little bit longer. Inhale. Exhale all the air out. Inhale halfway. And begin. Out, out, out. You pump the air out through the nose. The diaphragm moves up against your lungs and you press the air out. And this creates a cleansing sensation in the whole lung area. So we need to breathe in clean oxygen here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, exhale. Breathe in. Hold it, stay full. Bring your chin to your chest, lift the pelvic floor. Mula Bandha, Jalanda Bandha. And release. Good, now switch to your Ujjayi breath. A sonorous breath in the back of your throat. If you're not familiar with Ujjayi, then just keep the breath natural and steady. And from here, whenever you're ready, come into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, push your seat back, extend the legs. And take these few first movements in down dog to really settle in the body. So find space where you feel maybe there was tightness before. You can move around the hips, move around the shoulders. And we'll focus this class mostly on the neck and shoulder area where we create, can create more lightness and space instead of shrugging them to the ears, holding tightness there or holding tension. 
One more breath. On your inhale, come into a plank position. Exhale, bring your knees down. Inhale, lift the right arm up, look to your right hand. And exhale, thread the right arm underneath your left arm. Place the right shoulder gently on the floor and the right temple, so the part above your eyebrows. Inhale, optional, lift the left arm. You can take the second arm with you and wrap it around your back. Place your left hand either on your back or maybe you can wrap it all the way through to the right thigh and push the right thigh gently back. Rotate the spine here. Three more breaths. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Breathe in. Breathe out, three. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand next to your face. Inhale, take the right arm up, look up. Exhale, place the right hand down. Other side. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread it under. Left shoulder down, left temple down. Inhale, optional. Take the right arm up and then thread it around you. Wrap it around your back, left and right hand to left thigh. Push the hip back gently. Let's see if you can find a little bit more softness in the part between the shoulders. Two, breathe in. Breathe out, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, right arm comes up. Exhale, right hand down on the floor. Push it down, inhale, open again. Exhale, both hands to the ground. Good. Now tuck your toes, move your seat back. Walk your hands far forward and come into a downward facing dog again here. Inhale, walk your feet as wide as your mat. So open your feet as wide as your mat and hold the outer edges of the mat. Exhale, relax your neck. Move the hands out to the side and push your chest gently down towards the floor. For those who are very flexible, maybe your forehead will touch the floor at some point, but keep the lower ribs in the chest. Two. For three. Four. And five. Bring your hands back to shoulder distance, feet back to hip distance. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, walk forward all the way to the front. Lift your head up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, come to stand. Bring your arms up with you. Interlace your fingers above the head. Exhale here. Inhale, find length. And exhale, lean towards the left side. Inhale to center. Exhale towards the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, release your hands. Tadasana. Look straight forward. We'll find the clarity and the stability here. For Surya Namaskar. On your inhale, you raise, raise your arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step back or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, pointing the feet. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Stay here for five. Breathing in. Breathe out. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Bend the knees. Inhale, step or hop all the way to the front. Head up. Exhale, folding. 
Inhale, lift up. Arms up, see the palms. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, look forward. Bring your hands down. Exhale, step or hop back. Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale, pointing the feet. Exhale, downward dog. Stay here for five. Keep your weight mostly moving back into the legs. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Breathe in. Breathe out, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Soften the knees. Inhale, step or hop. Head up. Exhale, folding Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up. Arms come up. Exhale, release. Variation of Diyamukti, sun salutation. Hook your thumbs on your inhale. Bring your arms up and arch back. Exhale, bend your knees. Swing your hands through. Interlace your hands. Extend arms and legs. Inhale, bend the knees. Hands to the ground. Step your right foot back. Listen. Exhale, bring the right knee down. Point your right foot. On your inhale, hook your thumbs. Bring your arms up. And exhale, stay here. Maybe sit a little bit lower. If you have any knee issues, move the left foot forward so it's a 90 degree angle. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down. Inhale, tuck the toes, step into plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, sit back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Lunge, listen. Exhale, exhale, left knee down. Point the foot. Inhale, hook thumbs. Bring arms up. Arch back. Exhale, stay here. Sit a little lower. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down and step forward into a forward fold. Inhale, hook thumbs. Come to stand. Straighten your legs. Arch back. Exhale, reverse in one breath. Inhale, bend knees, hands down, left foot sex, steps back, lunging. Exhale, left knee down and point the foot. Inhale, hook thumbs, come up, arch back here, exhale, stay. Inhale. Exhale, hands down, tuck your back toes. Inhale to plank pose, exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes and come back into downward dog. Inhale, bring the left foot forward. Exhale, right knee down and point your foot. Hook your thumbs. Inhale, come up. Prepare and then arch back here. If you have space, lean a little bit further. Breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands down and step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, bend knees, hook thumbs, come to stand, straighten your legs, arch. Exhale, release, Samasthiti. Inhale, bend your knees for chair. And exhale, stay here for now. Now look to your toes, make sure you can see the toes. So move your hips back, the tailbone slightly down, pubic bone slightly in, navel towards the spine. Extend your arms as far as possible. And then hold opposite elbows above the head and move your lower arms behind your head. So you don't want to stick the ribs out too much, like I'm doing probably. You bring the ribs into the chest. Two, inhale. Exhale, three. Change sides, other arm. Inhale. Exhale, four. Breathe in. Breathe out, five. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step back or jump, Chaturanga. 
Inhaling, upward dog. Move the shoulders back, chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward and bring the left heel down. Now we're going to warrior one, setting up the alignment here. Your feet can be on two like train tracks. Imagine you have two train tracks going there. Press the outer edge of your back foot down. Your right knee is in a 90 degree angle and on your next inhale, you come up. Open your hands for now. Okay, tailbone moving down, pubic bone moving in. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Now imagine there would be an arrow coming out of your chest and straight forward, and then you turn that arrow up. Exhale, stay here for one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Breathe in. Breathe out, four. Inhale. Exhale, five, bring your hands down. Excellent. Inhale, lift the left, left heel up. Exhale, move the left foot forward, just enough so you can ground the left heel. Inhale, extend the right leg. Come to your finger points if necessary, or bring your hands to your shin. Move the right hip back, left hip forward. And then exhale, move into that open space. For one, Parshvottanasana. Two, inhale, exhale, three, breathe in, breathe out, four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, bend your right knee, exhale, walk your hands forward. Inhale, lift the left leg up, find space. Exhale, move in. Walk your hands back next to the front foot. You can also keep your hands more in the front. Focus on lifting the left leg up. Well, if it's available, you can wrap the left arm around the leg and then pull your torso closer. Three. Four. And five, good. Listen, inhale, bend the left knee, open the hip here. And exhale, step back into a low lunge. Inhaling to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra, point the feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right heel turns down. Come to your finger points. Find the alignment in the legs first. Activate the muscles of the legs. Move the right hip down, left hip back. Inhale and come up. Arms can be open for now. Exhale, tailbone down, pubic bone up. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Find the lifting in the chest. Remember the arrow. Bring the arrow forward and then turn it up. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. And breathe in. Breathe out, five. Bring your hands down gently. Inhale, shorten the stance from behind. Turn the right heel down. And then left hip back, right hip forward. You can bring your hands to your shin again. Also, if you have blocks at home, you could use blocks for your hands. Lift the left kneecap, both kneecaps, chest forward, inhale. Exhale, come down, Parshvottanasana, chin towards your shin. For one, inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Breathe in. Breathe out, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, bend the left knee. Walk your hands forward. And then shift your weight into the left foot. Lift the right leg up, find space. Exhale, fold forward here. Standing split. Only a couple of breaths. 
and see if you can drop any tension from the shoulders. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make a big step back. Inhaling to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, through bent knees, downward facing dog. Now, we like to practice handstand for a couple of breaths. You walk your hands back. Don't be scared if you never practiced handstand before. You can move to a wall at home. Or you walk your feet in from downward dog and focus on shifting the shoulders forward. So handstand is more about stacking than about jumping. Yeah? Imagine you want to stack shoulders, wrists, wrists, shoulders, hips, feet on top of each other. Lift one leg up. And we just take a few gentle hops here. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Do it with the breath. Keep the upper leg straight. And the lower leg is actually not doing anything right now, except for landing and taking off. Change legs. Other side. And at some point, you might catch a moment of balance. If that happens, don't be scared. Just stay where you are. Focus on breathing. Come all the way down. Relax, hang above your legs. Come back and bring your knees to the ground. Point the feet, bring your forehead down. And today we're finishing up in child seat. So connect the point between your eyebrows to the floor. And on the next exhalation, you're going to open your mouth and release your ujjayi breath. Breathe in. Exhale. Feel how your breath is flooding the floor. And dissolving the separation from your inner space to the outer space. They're one. With your eyes closed, come and sit up on your heels. Place your hands in your lap. Bring your palms to touch. Forehead down. Thank you for practicing and hope to see you in our next session. Thank you, Nico, for the music. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.